Every year in Benin, locals celebrate a festival in tribute to their voodoo culture, the indigenous religion worshipping natural spirits and revering their ancestors. Dozens of followers dressed in white clothes face the ocean each festival to pay homage in Wida to Mami Water, a goddess of the sea. To these locals, they believe this is part of their culture and beliefs. No one will come from elsewhere to make the family sacrifices in our place. That is why we appreciate the return of the children of our deported ancestors. It is said that the old rope should always go with the new, and we thank these brothers for returning to the land of their ancestors, which will preserve our traditions. Accompanied by drums and dancing, followers dress in colorful traditional robes and gowns who watch Zangbedo rituals, while dancers dress as guardians of the night. This activity has attracted several of tourists and even Venetians who live abroad to come to wish that this event. It is my first time in Benin. I came for the festival, uh, which it's amazing. I've seen so many divinities uh, and a lot of dancing. Increasingly, the festival is drawing people of African descent from America, Brazil and the Caribbean who come to discover the religion and land of the ancestors enslaved and shipped away from the beaches of West Africa. The most people from diaspora can connect the heart with this kind of knowledge. I believe that voodoo is a perspective about humanity that can help the humanity to rescue the meaning of human rights to ourselves. Mami Wata represents a sea goddess of fertility and beauty. Most of the worshippers on the beach are usually women. Today, voodoo religion has around 50 million followers worldwide. Most followers live in Brazil, Haiti, and the U.S. southern state of Louisiana. <laughs>